Uh, this next song, people sometimes boo with this song, which I don't mind. I like when people boo, as long as it's like something that I like really believe in. But I got booed earlier this year at the dumbest thing that I've ever said, and it was just like, I was very, it just was like a waste of a boo, and I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain. Like I said before, I love every city. There's no city I don't like. Sometimes a bad thing happens in a city, it's fine. I was in Portland, Maine, beautiful place. You guys know Portland, Maine? Yeah. 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 Well, I got booed there. <clears throat> By one guy. I'll explain. <laughs> it was just like not, the, the night was bad. This happens sometimes in my job. It's like everything was going wrong. You know, the, the crowd was just not feeling it. Also, like, first song was like a horrible sound thing, a monitor like exploded with this horrible noise, so like everyone was just on edge. No one was like laughing at anything I said, it was bad. I and I hit this moment halfway through where I was like, man, I gotta do something here to really like change the course. And I decided to do a brand new bit, which is always a bad idea. <laughs> but here's what happened. On the way to Portland, Maine, on this tour, I've been traveling with some, uh, some crew. I had a merch person, I had a bass player, I had a tour manager. We're driving along a highway there in the Northeast, and we kept seeing all these barns that had fallen over. And I don't know what got into me, but I started doing this like Seinfeldian, like, what's the deal with barns? <laughs> but, to be honest, you know, it, was, it was like low key, like killing in the van. It was just really going, doing well. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing for someone who wants to be funny, is like when three of their friends laugh at you, are like, oh, this is fucking cool. <laughs> so at the lowest point of this Portland main show, I wanted to get myself out of this hole, I decided to do the barn bit. Now I will do it for you, it's four lines long, two lines long, and it's no, not even remotely funny, okay, let me explain to you what happened. <clears throat> I said this, the first line goes, I don't trust barns. Not funny, but that's fine. Dead silence, which was usual for that crowd. Because then, then I was saying, because 80% of them are collapsed and the other 20% are about to collapse. Not funny, <laughs> but rather than being met with dead silence that I had been met with the whole entire night, instead I get one guy going, oh! It's like a balcony, he's like covering the boat. And I was like, is that? The bit that bad, or is like the head of the Portland, Maine Barn Association <laughs> in my crowd? <crowd's> <laughs> anyway, so what I'm saying is that town sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Love I don't do the, the barn bit got retired that night. <laughs> People sometimes do with this next song, which I don't mind. I think it's a very sweet song, actually, very kind and positive. It's about a woman I think is really cool, and it is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I don't know if you That's how I gauge how well the song's gonna do. <laughs> I wrote this song with two friends of mine, Anna and Joel, from a band called Handmade Moments. We were hanging out in New Orleans at their house, and we were reading this article uh, written by this man who did not like AOC. He was really, <laughs> he was really upset <laughs> with her. And it was funny, we just thought that article was very funny because he was like, convinced that she was an actual like cartoonish witch with the hat and the <laughs> boiling pot, you know, with stirred with the broom. And he said this, he was like, she's a witch and she hangs out with her other witch friends in New York and they spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week casting spells on our president who was then Donald Trump. And we thought, wow, she's working even harder than we thought. This is cool. <laughs> so, right here a song. So <laughs> Good luck, John Craig Music dot com. Let him roll. In the 14th Congressional District, there gathers a coven of witches, <laughs> casting spells on the president. Where? The Bronx. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, who could be behind such a devilish scheme? Oh, so scary. Oh, be wary. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. She got that hocus 
just focus on VHS. She got that Stevie Nicks greatest hits. She got that orange hair voodoo doll. The pointy hat and some crystal ball. Oh, so scary. Oh, be wary of Alexandria. Oh, Pasio, oh, Tayez. She got that black hat and broomstick. 2013 Toyota Prius. She got the tarot card, she lighting some candles. She's burning sage with Bernie sandals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so scary. Oh, be wary of Alexandria. Oh, Casio Forte. Yeah, yeah. Casting spells for a Green New Deal. Casting spells for universal health care. Casting spells for some gun control. Casting spells for a 70% tax on incomes over $12 million. Oh, 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 oh,